Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to look at this flying wing without vertical stabilizers. This is the first time I flew the wing and I was so impressed with the way it performed. It was just an amazing feeling, an amazing sight as well. Oh, if we're you in the air today! Video, I recommend <laughs> you have a look. Unbelievable. These are the two or three different aircraft which um, inspired me to create that wing. To make the wing, I used a CG calculator, which is quite a useful tool to find out about uh, the CG, CG in particular. Calculates all, all the necessary parts for you, and it let you see well have a look at what your wing will look like before you even start cutting. So I've decided to go for twenty eight centimeters or two hundred and eighty millimeters. Uh, here I just tried to to see how it would look like and. Um, Seeing how the CG would may end up being. Obviously, it's a scratch built, so you try to, well, you find out things as you do it. So, I decided beforehand to have um, a 14% thickness at the cord for the wing, and I was hoping to be able to do 8% at this tip here. It was not really possible to do 8%. Um, so I end up doing a little bit more. So for 14% with a 28 centimeter, oh, well, I, I run it up to four centimeters thickness at the cord. My first idea was to put this at 25% of the cord. So that I would have the thickest part of the wing on about there, slightly after. That was my initial idea. Considering how the material used at the top bends, so this would be uh, the best idea. So here we end up at 25% uh, for around. To start working on the wing tip, I put some light cuts, not obviously all the way through, to help bend the wing in shape. Yeah, I was obviously checking where the motor would go and the size of the propeller to make it fit for the elements. These are the servos used for the project. I was planning, and I did hide the servos within the wing with just a little bit protruding the arm to move the errands. This is the receiver I have used for that project, and um, well, this one is, uh, well, for me, it hasn't been successful. I've had three fail safe already so far, so I would not recommend it. 
I just glued the servos in place. And here I reshaped, well, I removed a little bit more product from the wing so that I can get the shape I was looking for. Just with putting hot glue and a little template to get the same angle on both sides. Looking good so far. For fix, fixing the motor, I did not go complicated here. I just used uh, this little bracket I had left. And uh, this motor has been recycled from an old plane. So I just glued it in place the easy way. And again, so far, I've had a few little bumps, a little hard uh, landing, and it's still, still there. Nothing is broken. So so far so good here is me gluing these in place and that's all we'll have in the center of the wing to keep to give it its shape i think if i was to do it again i may add another piece halfway through the wing to um to have uh, the two wings really similar, it works. It works really well. Um, but I think um, to have more consistency, that would be the a good way to do it. However, it is strong enough. This board can uh, does not need any more support so far. Anyway, this is the material I use on top. It is some. Um, insulation type of boards that you can put on the floor when you're putting some when you are doing some DIY it's very flexible and it's foil on top as well so it gives you this perfect type of a surface it's very very light as well so then to put together give you a very uh, light Type of wing. If I had used twice the same type of board, the thick white board, the white board, it would have been definitely on the heavy side. We don't have depron here. I can't get depron. So them to put together, them two materials equal, or is very uh, similar in weight than the the type of foam board that you get. I believe in America. Calculated the weight is quite similar. So here I shaped the wing, the bottom of the wing, sorry, the top. And I started gluing the top. I was really unsure as to if the material would be flexible enough to take that shape. But it did work. I was quite surprised. I thought I would have to cut it. No need. I just um, I just took that shape without any problems. So with a lot of hot glue in the front of both wings, it um, it worked really well, and it gave it a beautiful, really beautiful looking finish. I think nice and smooth anyway. Quite an organic type of look, I think. Like I said, it's a scratch belt, so nothing was really here. I'm just cutting it and shaping it as I go. and uh, shaping the ailerons as well. A 
again I recycled these two little brackets from an old plane. That was my first time trying it. So it was a bit of a fiddle, but um, well, it worked. I'm not sure if I would do it again or if I would buy this type of system. For the arm, um, for the, I just recycle these parts from it. Again, for them, um, so I recycled these for, from the servos just to, and I find this works very well. Um, with a lot of glue on it, I give it, um, it worked, works, no problems. And, um, this type of wires, again, if the distance is not too great between the servo and the aileron, it's, there is no issues. And um, you have the advantage of having something you can easily reshape, change the size of on the field without any kind of tools. That's why I keep a big uh, part at the end so I can easily remove it and put it back. And if you have a bit of a crash, they can bend, but then uh, they don't break. So I think they are, they are quite a, a good system. Putting some tape to protect the wing from the crashes which will happen. And here, trying to find the the CG by just putting the battery uh, using tape at the front with um, so that I could get a good idea if the CG uh, was um, was okay. Measuring the plane I get to with the battery at uh, like you see like, like you can see about 450 grams. Here we're moving on to the new phase of this project which uh, makes it so special i actually discovered that uh, video and this type of system at that time this is why i decided to um, add it to this project it seems to be the way it should become it was a sign so I was reading, I was watching this video explaining about how the wings works and how the winglets help planes and wings work. So this information, with this information in mind, I thought maybe I could, uh, I could add something to this wing. So here are the two parts, two the two ends of the wings. which were leftovers actually from the cuts of that particular wing. And it seemed, seemed to be a sign again that uh, it, was, um, it was going to be the way it is going to be now. <laughs> the angle seemed to be about right. So I just went with, went with the flow. Here I'm reshaping this winglets this end of wings, trying to see a way to make it work, mm -hmm. trying to give it um, a good aerodynamic type of shape. I do enjoy shaping the wings as well. And um, again, here to get them to work together, well, I just put some hot glue, a lot of it. And so far, like I said, it works very well. No, no problems at all. But to be fortunate. So this is what it looks like. And I've got about one, I end up with one, one and a half centimeters between the two wings at the back here. It's something we could definitely play with and change that um, distance to make it more or less efficient. 
here I added a little bit of foam and I thought that maybe uh, adding uh, to try to create a little bit more lift at that part of the wing I'm really not sure I'm really not sure if it was uh, a good idea the plane works okay but um, it would be worth trying without I was just afraid I was not going to create enough lift with adding all this material to that little wing here I use the clamps to get the wing to have a, a tighter type of shape a bit um, to just make sure to make sure the servos would be at arms were going to work freely as well and I think it was um, was just needed a little bit so I did add a little bit of glue and again the more shipping of the wing lips or the end of the wings there I, I realized that the, these looked pretty flimsy and and with uh, that length of um, board I was afraid of the first crash I was going to break it so I decided for the first time to put some fiberglass I did fiberglass um, something uh, 35 30 years ago uh, softboard so I knew the idea that you have to mix it and um, well, how basically to do it. But um, it was my first try just to strengthen the tip of the wing and the attachment between them two. And I must say, it does make it much stronger. It's not finished. Um, I could just um, well, the paint and just, uh, but uh, just um, just to make you know, the wing stronger for this prototype was just, just what I needed. So it's not the prettiest of work. Huh? So if you are somebody who's used to fiberglass yourself, well, I apologize for the the amateurish type of way of doing it but it worked so that's me for my little lift okay. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, and the hope that you managed to make it fly as, as I did have a nice day